If you're watching this and you feel like garbage, your sin and your shame are suffocating you and you wonder if God's disgusted with you, I have something for you today. When you're born again by the power of God, you can call him Father. I think sometimes we hear God loves you so much that some of us have turned it into an abstract thing, like some being far off loves us. No, you have a Father who loves you. A Father, this is just the most profound thing to me. This should be the heart of our Christian experience. Each and every one of us deeply longs to have a Father who embraces us and calls us one of his own unconditionally. And so many of us don't have earthly fathers who demonstrated that well. This is something I need to hear. This is something you need to hear. What our culture calls self-love is not the answer. You know you can't fix yourself. I know I can't fix myself because I've tried. We need something, or someone rather, outside of us to declare over us who we are, to give us value and dignity and worth. Here are some reminders of the Father's love for you today. In Christ, you were the one that was lost that Jesus left the other 99 sheep to go find. Even if you make your bed in the pit of hell or the depths of the deepest trench in the ocean to outrun God, he's there. He's with you. He's relentless in his pursuit of you over and over and over. He lifts you up and restores you. You are the son or daughter that he runs out to embrace when you return home, just like the parable that Jesus told. You are the one that he stood outside waiting for every day to return home. Man, that's what I want to hear. I don't care about what I think about myself or what other people say. I want to hear what my eternal Father says about me because whatever He says is reality. And He keeps my tears and your tears. Did you know that? Psalm 56. Your life is not meaningless. Your suffering is not meaningless. God doesn't passively love us. You have a Father who actively enters into your brokenness to heal and restore you. So run to Him. And as you do that terrible lie in your head from Satan, the one that tells you the Father could never love you because of who you are or what you've done, it gets quieter and quieter until you start talking less about who you are and a whole lot more about whose you are. Sons, and daughters of the living God.